What's going on, Guardians? So Bungie just released a pretty brief trailer, about a minute and 49 seconds here. A uh, trailer for some of the weapons and gear coming in Lifefall. So I thought, you know, why not take a look at it? So let's go ahead and just jump right into it here. I don't know how quiet that is for you guys. If it's too loud or not. That looked like a skin for Quicksilver. Charge tracking rounds. What? So we have the Titanfall 2 Smart Pistol. <laughs> oh, that's a really cool looking LMG though. What did that say? Four shot weakens enemies. 16th makes them volatile. Interesting. Is that... Hold on. That is... Pretty sure that's Nameless Midnight. Yeah, that's... That's 100% Nameless Midnight. Okay. This looks like new... The Neo Muna armor just looks incredible too, to be honest. It looks really sweet. What is this? Super cool looking helmet. What is it? Flinch resistance from Wilden May. Okay. We'll talk about that in a second here. New skin for Quicksilver, it looks like. Okay. So, like, uh... What is that? Sealed off on Cars Grass? I, quite, I can never remember the name, but the... Titan exotic that creates flames when you throw up a barricade. Okay. Okay, interesting. There's the rework, uh, the redone loud lullaby. It looks, I, I do have to say, I know that these are re reskins of like the Shadow Keep Moon weapons, but these, I kind of like how clean these look as opposed to the Shadow Keep weapons, so I will give them that. Like, this is just a nice looking hand cannon. Winter Bite freezes enemies. Cross Orb. Oh boy, that's gonna take all of 10 minutes to become insufferable and crucible. So I can't tell, is this? That's not the Loud Lullaby reskin. I wish we'd see more of this. I'm very curious about this hand cannon. Um, so some really interesting stuff here. So... First off, this... Smart Pistol. This would normally... It's obviously a sidearm. Normally seeing something like that would... Kind of concern me for Crucible, but... I would imagine, based on what we're seeing here, with the reload animation and stuff, it'll be something kind of probably similar to, you know, Kill Clip, your other damage perk, so I'm not super worried about that as much. It does look really cool, though, just having, you know, a smart pistol, that's what it is, it's a Titanfall smart pistol. Very interesting. Now this... I'm very curious about. I love, first off, I love how it looks. That's just a super cool looking looking weapon. Um, but fourth shot weakens enemies, then I think it was the 16th shot makes them volatile. So we've seen a lot of people playing with uh, LMG DPS over the last season or so, you know, with a retrofit escapade and all that. So this might be real. If you're trying to do some 
LMG DPS, this might have a lot of uh, a lot of potential to it. So I would I will be very curious to see how this turns out. I would actually love to see LMGs kind of you know become relevant inside of PVE as a DPS option. I actually think that would be really cool. So I would love to see this just end up turning into a boss killing machine. Moving on though, here's something that I do have some concerns about. So I have no idea how that's pronounced. Something facade. Um, grapple gives woven mail. So the grapple, of course, is a new grapple hook thing coming. Grapple gives woven mail. So presumably you just use your grapple, you get woven mail. So very similar to uh, Dragon Shadow with uh, the Wrath Metal mail from your dodge. Um, here's what I'm concerned about, though. Flinch resistance from woven mail. And it even has, like, a sniper rifle here you can see in everything. Um, this is... This sort of thing is why we have some issues inside of PvP as far as balance goes, um, is... Getting sniped through flinch was something that only got fixed last season. You know, same thing with getting, you know, with LFRs. They had to have their flinch increase quite a bit. And this is kind of an issue with how Bungie, quote-unquote, balances things. Is they will do something to balance something out, such as, you know, making it so snipers take more flinch, LFRs take more flinch, so that you actually have a fighting chance against them if you get into a head-on gunfight with one. And then they release something like this, which has the potential... Now, we don't know how much flinch resistance, but presumably with it being an exotic piece, it will be a substantial amount. So they do something like that to balance a weapon out or something, and then we get an exotic or something of the sort that completely breaks that balance. Like as another example, right? They made it so that, you know, Titan melees could no longer one-shot you inside of PvP. But then you have Paragon Greaves, which will let them one-shot as long as you jump beforehand, which, of course, completely breaks the point of even having them, you know, not one-shot you in the first place. Another example might be DMT. You know, the thing that keeps scout rifles balanced is that they're very strictly long-range weapons that you kind of have to aim down your sights with. And so DMT comes out, and with its just pinpoint hip-fire accuracy, it's you know, DMT is strong at literally any range, which is why it was so broken for so long. So this is something Bungie really needs to think about how they handle this, because they have to stop, you know, fixing things like, in this instance, snipe through flinch, LFR through flinch, and then re releasing things like this that completely breaks that balance all over again. Because from what I'm seeing in this, the fact that they're advertising this kind of front and center like they are. I'm actually really concerned we might start having issues with uh, Lorenz Driver and Arbalist again. Um, and that snipe through flinch might become an issue all over again because of this. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, but moving on, we saw a new skin for Quicksilver, I think. Which I actually really quite like. It's a little bit cleaner looking than the other one. Uh, a brilliant leap barricade spawns additional lashes. So this is basically, it looks like a better version of, I can never remember the name of that Titan exotic. I think it's like sealed Ahamkara's grasps or something like that. But it's the one where if you throw down a Titan barricade, it sends out like a, a wave of flame. And this looks very, basically the same thing as that, but it looks better because it, there's just more of it. <laughs> so... That is, that is pretty cool. Quicksilver Storm, grenades. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not a skin. I don't know. Grenades create tangles on kills. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. No, I, that looks to me like... That looks like a skin. Right here. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. So there's the tangle little green orb right here and this looks like it's so obviously it's something that you throw afterwards so it's kind of i guess kind of like that one i can never remember the names of these weapons but that one fusion rifle where you can get a like a charge off of it that you can then use destroying tangles spawns threadlings 
the hell are threadlings? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that beforehand. Kind of like uh, little mini colony grenades. This is another concern. Um, stasis is already like it, it definitely it, it isn't what it once was. You know, we uh, most of us remember the uh, the stasis meta when Beyond Light dropped and how annoying that was. Um, but quite frankly, we really don't need <laughs> any more ways to freeze people with stasis inside of PvP. Um, inside of PVE, this could be a really good time, but uh, I will give this all of five minutes before it becomes completely insufferable inside of PvP, unless it has some sort of substantial setup behind it, which, you know, it could. We don't really have many details on these yet. It looks super cool, though. I have to give them that. That looks super dope. That's just a gorgeous-looking weapon. Probably a very nice ad clear weapon. We have some new Cabal spawn animations too. That is for sure a... That looks like a new Cabal tank. You can see the little witness emblems up here. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, pretty good trailer. Um, like I said, you know, we there are some concerns there. Um, and I kind of wish we got to see more. Like, I still want to know what this hand cannon is here and everything. So I'm a little bit underwhelmed by it. But we saw a lot of cool stuff in here. So hopefully it turns out okay. There are, again, with this and everything, there are, I think, some balance concerns here. But for the most part, it looks good. But anyway, guys, that's the trailer. Um, don't have a whole lot else to say on it at this point. It's still a little, you know, a little too soon to say anything. Hopefully we get some more details on these soon. And if not, well, you know, uh, light follows less than a month away at this point. But that's all for me today, Guardians. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Leave me a like, a subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.